Welcome back everybody, my name is Matt, and today I want to talk about RAM. Specifically, a lot of people are building PCs, or already have built PCs, and are not completely clear on how much RAM they should have, so I wanted to just clarify that, going over a few different build types, like gaming or video editing, and how much money you have to spend on that type of build, and say how much RAM you should need. So say a $400 gaming PC, this is how much RAM you should get, that kind of thing. I just wanted to clarify a few things. These are definitely some general guidelines, build to your specific needs, but if you are just going a complete cookie cutter build, this will help you save money and put it in other areas or get the right amount of RAM for your budget. So let's get right into the video. So let's start off with a gaming PC because I know most of you are gamers, but this gaming PC is also geared towards light video editing, so you just want to dabble, maybe record some of your gameplays, put a commentary on them, put them on YouTube, that kind of stuff. Not very serious though, so this will be able to do that. So on a budget, for a gaming PC, you're spending around 400 to 500 bucks, and you want to get at least 4 gigabytes of RAM because 4 gigabytes of RAM will run any game, won't necessarily record that many higher end games because there's just not enough resources there, but it'll run any game, it'll edit videos, and it's really just the minimum for what you want, and you'd be better spending that extra 30 or 40 bucks on the GPU or CPU for more FPS. But if you're getting a standard gaming and video editing PC around 700 to 1000 bucks, go with 8 gigabytes. With 8 gigabytes, you will be able to record your footage. It will be a lot smoother. Your games will definitely use around 6 gigabytes of RAM, so they will benefit from having the 8 opposed to 4. And if you're spending that amount of money, it is worth it to get the 8 gigabytes of RAM because stepping up in your GPU will only do so much if you're still throttled at 4 gigabytes of RAM. But if you are an enthusiast and you're spending above, say, $1,500, you have the money to spend, you're not counting your dollars, you just want really good performance, go with 16 gigabytes of RAM. That will give you enough memory to play any games, record any games as you play, and editing will be a dream, rendering will be extremely fast. You will definitely benefit from having the 16 gigabytes of RAM if you're spending that much money. So I also wanted to talk about video editing PCs, and this isn't just like a regular video editor, like a PC geared towards video editing, kind of like the new Mac Pro, but nothing near that price point. So on a budget, you're spending about a thousand bucks on a video editing PC, get at least eight gigabytes of RAM because the professional video editing software like Adobe uh, Premiere, Sony Vegas, that kind of stuff can definitely use eight gigabytes of RAM, at least four gigabytes would throttle it, but with eight gigabytes, you would be able to get everything done, it just wouldn't necessarily be buttery smooth. And then if you're on a standard budget, so around 1,500 bucks with a video editing PC, go with 16 gigabytes of RAM because the extra 8 gigabytes of RAM will let you multitask a bit more. It'll be a bit faster while you're actually editing the videos themselves and rendering will be a bit faster because you just have more resources. Everything's on the RAM so everything's getting pulled out quicker and the reads and writes are super fast. And then if you're an enthusiast and you are building a video editing PC, let's say above 2000 bucks, go with 32 gigabytes of RAM just to take down the boundaries. I don't know how much that would actually help your video editing because 16 to 32, 16 is already a ton, but that just takes down any boundaries. You can render multiple videos at once as long as you have the computer power. You can edit multiple videos at once. You really don't have any obstacles. You have the RAM for it, so there's just no issues there. And lastly, I do want to talk about one last type of build, and that is a school build, like a internet, word processing, PowerPoint, Reddit, that kind of type of build, maybe Facebook games, that's really just bare bones and you, you have some specific purposes, but you shouldn't be spending a lot of money on it. So if you're building a budget internet schoolwork machine for around 300 bucks, you should buy it pre-built. I know, I know, I know. I don't recommend buying pre-built usually, but really, in that type of price range, pre-built have the advantage because they buy the uh, they buy the components in mass, so everything is cheaper. They don't have to pay for an operating system. So generally, you will actually get a better PC buying it pre-built if you're at that price point for those purposes. But if you are building it because maybe you need an SSD in it or maybe you have some specific needs, I would recommend at least two gigabytes of RAM because. Everything I mentioned, internet, word processing, those will run off of two gigabytes of RAM. There may be some throttling when you're multitasking, but you will be just fine with two gigabytes, so save some money there. If you are building a standard internet machine, let's say around 400, maybe 500 bucks if you're gonna stretch your budget, uh, go with four gigabytes of RAM because none of those programs, internet, word processing, PowerPoint, will use above four gigabytes ever, so it's really just a waste of money to get any more on a schoolwork or internet machine. But if you're building it for multiple purposes, including schoolwork and then gaming, that's a different story. That is the gaming section. And then lastly, if you are an enthusiast building an internet machine, you're doing it wrong. You're not building an enthusiast internet machine because there's no such thing. Then you just get into a higher grade, maybe a video editor, maybe a gaming. There's different purposes. You shouldn't be spending above 500 bucks for an internet machine. That's kind of a waste of money. 
So that is basically it. That includes the gaming, video editing, and schoolwork PCs with a budget, standard, and enthusiast level of amount of RAM. I hope this definitely cleared up some things for you guys. There are a few people in the comments that are recommending more storage or more RAM when there really shouldn't be any more. They have the right amount. So I just wanted to clear that up. If you found this useful, let me know in the comments and give a like on this video. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, share this video, all that good stuff. My name is Matt, and as always, stay classy.